three rules of the perfect classroom management. It is to most people's belief that to be a good teacher one has to be an outgoing teacher in the classroom but there are many good teachers who very low-key and chilled but delivering epic classes, while another teacher can be both lively and amazing. One should bear in mind that for a class to be at its best and be the effect, the teacher must be a role model and very inspiring to his or her students. A teacher must be flexible and be able to adjust based on the situation ahead of them and this has been the reason for this summary as I talk about classroom management, what is it that is called classroom management? What skills are required for great classroom management? How to arrange the classroom? and how to maintain discipline. All these questions will be answered below. 1. The Power of Eye Contact Classroom management is an art of arranging and managing one's class, having a warm and motivating manner and being able to have a well-disciplined class. It is, therefore, the job of the teacher to have good eye contact in the classroom as it shows one is confident in his her work and more still establishing great interaction about the teacher and the students. Man people may ask how this skill can be used in the class and the benefit it has on the kids, good eye contact with the students shows that they are well involved in the lesson and all your attention is to them as much as they have yours. Furthermore, this skill also helps encourage contribution and a talking class brings great results. It can also work as a signal to students to start stop or get on with whatever they are engaged to, however one should remember that as much as something has its good it can also have its bad. In this situation, eye contact should be avoided during activities which are not teacher-centered as they might make the students feel discouraged and nervous to participate. 2. Tone of Voice The voice is also a great factor for great classroom management. If your voice does not have the great projection, you will have problems delivering instructions or explaining to the students that are to say a great teacher should have a voice that can naturally change according to certain circumstances e.gu in a class with 35 students, definitely greater projection will be required in this class. In addition one cannot mention classroom management without the mention of classroom arrangement, what do I mean by that? This is the way in which the teacher will organize the position of the students and himself depending on the space of the classroom, type of chairs in the class, age of students and students' personality. It is in human character to feel intimidated when we feel too exposed or vulnerable and this is also the same with students. G A teacher teaching young learners of an Asian country language. If these kids feel too exposed to the teacher in front or they feel like they are in front of everyone else it can make them less confident or even less participative. As a teacher, one has the authority to the students for benefit of an activity, cohesion or discipline. Some of these sitting arrangements consist of the standard orderly rows, circle and horseshoe arrangement, and separate tables. 3. Classroom Arrangement Lastly, having a well-arranged class is determined by how one can deliver instructions. As a great teacher, he, she should be able to make instructions be more effective. How? This can be done by attracting a student's attention and making sure everyone is listening and not working. Furthermore, the teacher can use very simple language which is lower than the language they learn that way they will understand every command and it saves time and less misunderstanding. Moreover, the teacher can also use the same words for the same instruction e.g., everyone, sit down, listen, etc., for clarity's sake the teacher can ask questions to check if the students understood the instructions and him, she can monitor the instructions from a distance. Are you ready to teach ESL students abroad? In conclusion, one can say classroom management isn't just the way the classroom furniture is put in classrooms but the backbone to an effective and productive class is factors like giving instructions, classroom arrangement and skills of the teacher has a role to play. Speak with an ITTT advisor today to put together your personal plan for teaching English abroad. Send us an email or call us toll free at 1-800-490-0000.
0531 to speak with an IDTT advisor today.